Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. So yesterday I made a video about my amazing success playing with a really crappy rogue deck. Well, I got some news for you guys. I drafted a much crappier rogue deck and I was still pulling in some incredible results. I believe this is a 63, maybe low, I think it's a high 63 point rogue deck. I know it was the third worst deck I have drafted in this expansion. So an absolutely garbage quality deck, but it's rogue. It's got the tempo. You have the useful hero power. So you often have the early game you need even if you skip like a two or a three drop. And I think I highlighted some games that I'll show you guys here in a moment where I really gave the lesson on how big a deal it is to play the tempo game. Just being slightly ahead in the early game over your opponent gives you such a sizable advantage and marginalizes a lot of these games where they have much better cards in the late game. We talk about like Death Knights and all that kind of stuff that you know you can never beat the late game, but you know with some classes particularly Rogue and a few others, if you get lucky enough, you can just push these guys out of the game, trying to get the most stats on the board, the most stats on your weapon in the first few turns as you possibly can. And that makes all the difference. So check out the games. For now, it's going to be a tempo game with the Death Knights, but in a couple of days, it might be a bit different. Some mid-range control decks might take the crown from some of these Rogue Tempo Kings, but for now, this is where it's at. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. How come on Goro Arena wasn't so bad? It had meteors, glyphs, and all that stuff. I mean, it was it was kind of bad. It just, uh, it was still pretty good. Like, Arena's auto-balancing auto has been remarkable. Damn it. What auto balancing? Um, if people are playing one specific archetype, you can counter it by trying to draft something that works well against it. Something like that. Like with Death Knights, the counterplay is always draft crazy tempo decks, for instance. Even though that shit, like, completely breaks Arena. Like, when Mage was the most broken ever, you could play Warrior, which is the worst class, pick all the fucking weapons, and actually do okay. That's pretty cool. A lot of fun, too. Like, that's what I did in, I remember in TGT, when Warrior was like 30-something percent win rate, like the worst class ever in the history of Arena, at a positive win rate. Actually, had really good win rate, at like 7-point-something win average. I just did that. Yeah, my cards are really clunky. I didn't have any great plays. That does get Divine Shield, right? Yeah. Winter is here. Justice is mine. Yeah, the issue here is um, he's going to board clear anyway. But 
My next draw dictates whether or not I can continue pushing tempo. Hey, that's not bad. We can do that. Let's let's try to protect it. Yeah, the new Blade Runner is awesome. Yeah, six four is pretty good. He has like firelands. He he can't get a ping off, which is pretty good. Holy moly! All right, so what we're looking for is a buff on either of those. We don't lose any damage trading because we lose a damage, but then we gain damage. Then we're gonna play this thing with divine shield and taunt. Then we're gonna get rid of that. And now we're gonna push for tempo. Mm. Yeah, he needs flame strike. And if he had flame strike, I believe he would have played it last turn or the turn before last turn. So most likely, you know, flame strike. Yeah, that's that's not gonna help him. Wow. Eight zero. Sixty-four point rogue. That was a very soft opponent though. You think it's Ebola? Shit. I do not use Better Twitch TV anymore now. It's got one non minion then. Okay. I just don't use any of the functionalities from Better Twitch TV. Seems pretty balanced, right? Start winning a little bit because I'm playing Rogue, which starts to win pretty well, and uh, I went first, which is a gigantic tempo advantage. And then we play a really balanced card. And now it's over! Oh look, he dealt, he dealt one damage. It's not a perfect game, guys. Whoop! 9-0. Second against Druid's probably gonna be a pretty tough game. I just wanna shove the taunt back in the deck, because I have two of those uh corpse takers. That's my only taunt. That's really bad. Yeah, this is this is gonna be really difficult. That's a pretty good draw, I think. Yeah, we're probably going to take a lot of damage here, but um, it's all about the tempo game. If we're winning the tempo game, then it doesn't matter. Speak your peace.
We have assassinate and invent a weapon if it becomes necessary. Hurts them 2v2. That's a whole different adventure. I think I'm going to trade, yeah. My HP is pretty low, I kind of have to protect myself here. Swipe is a good clear, but he, it wastes his turn completely. I will play battle right soon enough. Hm. Could do the double attack and develop that. Or I can invent a weapon. Let's invent a weapon. Okay. 8 HP. Possibly going down next turn. Alright. Let's do it. Swipe, swipe. He doesn't have swipe. But he might have like Starfire into something. Going second was a pretty rough part of this game, yeah. Your magic shall not wait for no one. And that's pretty bad. Hmm. I wonder. Let's start some travel. Chill out. Justice is mine. Okay. I am safe from Starfire and potentially a later, whatchamacallit, ultimate infestation. Starfire, Moonfire, please no. That's it? Oh. I think that's fine. It had to land on it had to land on that. Just act natural. Only a fool rejects a limit. Was there a better way to do that? I don't think so. I think I just had to take the chance. Probably just lose the ultimate infestation now. Oh, Starfire. Damn, we played that pretty well. We denied the Starfire kill for so long. Uh, too bad. I don't think there's much we could do there. I think 1 in 3 would have won that game though. And that was pretty sick. Because we were so fucked at the start. <laughs>